The Japanese tradition of honor and loyalty is well documented. When the Japanese surrendered during World War II in 1945, one unknowing soldier spent 29 years in the jungles of Philippines where he was dispatched to. Hello from Observer Plus. This is the incredible story of a Japanese Imperial Army intelligence officer who kept on fighting until 1974. Hiro Onoda belonged to the family lineage of an ancient samurai warrior class reputed for their unwavering loyalty and honor to the flag they represent. Onoda was deployed to Lubang Island in the Philippines on December 26, 1944, under strict orders by his supervisors to never surrender. A few months after Onoda's arrival on the island, the territory was overtaken by the Allies. Most of the Japanese guerrillas were either captured or killed. Onoda, with three other surviving soldiers, took to the hills, where they hid for the next several months. Onoda and his men regularly carried out guerrilla activities against the villages at the foothills, sabotaging food supplies and having gunfights with locals. They survived on a diet of bananas supplemented with coconuts and other fruits. For meat, they hunted wild boars, chickens and iguanas and killed cows belonging to the local farmers. During one of the raids on the local village in October 1945, Onoda found a leaflet left by the islanders asking the soldiers to come down from the mountains because the war ended two months earlier in August. Onoda and his men all agreed that it was probably a trap. Four years later, in 1949, one of Onoda's men left the group to live on his own. The soldier surrendered shortly after to the Philippine army. A year later, the same soldier left a note in the jungle which Onoda found. The note described the hospitality accorded to him by the island's army. Undeterred, Onoda and his men concluded that the soldier was conspiring with the enemy. In June 1953, Corporal Soichi Shimada, who was one of the surviving men in Onoda's group, was shot in the leg during a shootout with some fishermen. He was nursed back to health, but died a year later when he was killed instantly by a bullet fired by a search party organized by the Philippine government. Over the course of a decade, planes flew overhead dropping leaflets, news clippings, photographs and letters from the soldiers' families, including the surrender order by General Yamashita of the Japanese Imperial Army himself. Despite conclusive materials, Onoda suspected this was all a ruse by the Allied forces to trick them into surrendering. On October 1972, the last soldier standing with Onoda was killed instantly by the local police while engaging in guerrilla activity. 28 years since Onoda's arrival to the island, he now finds himself alone. In 1974, a Japanese university dropout named Norio Suzuki had gone to Lubang Island with the express mission of finding Onoda. He eventually did. Suzuki had explained to Onoda that the war has ended, but Onoda explained that he could not surrender without the explicit order of his commander. Suzuki went back to Japan and requested the aid of the Japanese government to track Onoda's former commander, Major Taniguchi, who had since quit the army and rejoined the civilian life. On March 9, 1974, Major Taniguchi was flown to Lubang Island where, after 29 years of abandonment, personally ordered Onoda to stand down. A tired Onoda, who turned 52, walked from the jungle in full dress uniform the day after. He surrendered his sword to Major General J. L. Rancudo of the Philippine Air Force, who immediately returned it to Onoda as a mark of respect. The ceremony was repeated for the world press with the President of the Philippines, Ferdinand Marcos, who pardoned him. Onoda and his men killed about 30 Lubang Islanders while foraging for food and wounded approximately 100 more during the 30 years they were in hiding. At the time of Onoda's surrender, he had his sword, a functioning rifle with 500 rounds of ammunition and several hand grenades. He also had the dagger his mother had given him in 1944 to kill himself with if he was ever captured. Onoda returned to Japan but found it drastically different. He was much troubled by what he saw as the withering of traditional Japanese values. He left for Brazil a year later on April 25, 1975 to raise cattle an interest he acquired when he was listening to Australian cattle shows on his stolen transistor radio during his years in the jungle. In 1984, Onoda once again went back to Japan to establish an educational camp for the young after reading about a Japanese teenager who had murdered his parents. 
Onoda returned to Lubang Island in 1996 to donate $10,000 to local schools. Many think of him as part of their local history, and officials from the Philippines sent their condolences when he passed away due to heart failure in Tokyo in 2014.